Listen carefully. The bandits control this station. We need to move quietly and take a look around. If we don't see my friends, we get the hell out of here. First in. We're good. Hold it! Who are you? Where else would you like to go, huh? Ugh. Okay, that's enough. Or else we'll have to drag him. Move it. We'll finish this later. Move it! God, dude. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is this? What have I got myself into? What is this guy doing? Stop. Don't even... Why? I don't know why I couldn't knock him out before. What the fuck? This guy getting high? He was getting high. Oh my... I'm fucking high! Oh, what the fuck, dude? I can't move. I'm so high right now. What the fuck? Can I get high again? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? What the fuck, dude? Oh my god, dude. Oh my, dude. I'm so stoned, bruh. So, dude. Uh, dude, that was interesting. That was different. That guy was just getting stoned out of his fucking mind back there. He literally ran off from the fight to get high. What a true guy. That guy's pretty cool. You're not getting away. There isn't too many people I would know. That would uh stop fighting. So we'll get high. In the middle of the fight. But he did it. And everyone's knocked out. I did it. We did it together. What did you bring with you, bastard? Answer Suga or I will chop you up. Answer Suga. Who is a poison? One night. Hypocrite Bourbon who? Artyom! Who the fuck is uh, uh, uh. Oh, who the fuck is Art? Oh, they're both dead. Wow. Khan? You can keep your weapon down, young man. <laughs> oh A sad, but not unexpected finale for the likes of him. My name is Khan. Well, I suggest that we leave this place immediately. The companions of these bandits will show up soon enough, and I'd prefer to avoid more bloodshed. I'm going back to Cursed. This station's humidity is making me rheumatic. If you'd rather share your friend's fate, then by all means, stay. Wow. Okay then. Khan's fucking... not Khan. Khan came out of nowhere. Fucking Bourbon's dead. I don't... I don't know what the... Okay. 
seems it seems that men like bourbon are born with a noose around on their necks. They spend their lives walking the edge, risking everything every day, and they think they can keep it up forever. But they can't cheat death. You make a habit out of walking the abyss edge. One day you fall. Why am I telling you all this? To persuade myself that I'm not at all guilty of his death, that he had it coming anyway, sooner or later? Because he made his own fate? No. I'm doing this to drown out that little voice in my head that keeps nagging, but I could have saved him. Could have changed his life somehow. He was, he was not such an evil man, after all. It's never us. It's the world we live in. And what right does Khan have to judge him anyway? Well, it looks like we're going. A wise decision. Wow, what a way. What a way. Khan's appearance caught me by surprise. Although while fighting the bandits, I did send someone helping from the shadows. Khan assured me that Bourbon's fate was not tied to my own. But I regretted his death. Yeah, that kinda sucks, dude. Fucking Bourbon wasn't that bad of a guy. He wasn't a guy I'd hang out with, personally, but he wasn't a bad guy. But, uh... Rip, I guess. Nobody ever walks here. Neither people nor beasts. Even the rats are absent. I think I'm gonna finish this chapter off and then I'm gonna end the recording from there. That way I can do whatever. Probably edit this up and whatnot and render it out. And then delete the raw file so I have more space on my computer. They know we are here. Did he just put his Come ear to the fucking to tubes? The tubes and listen. Just don't stay for too long. Oh. That's fucking weird, dude. Some say it's the voice of the tunnels. Others consider it to be a form of psychic influence. I just heard kids laughing, dude. What the fuck? I know this tunnel. And it knows me. Let's move. Okay, looks like since we're playing Connor, and since we're playing with Connor, we're gonna get some supernatural shit. Please keep your light on, my friend, or else we might stay here forever. Oh my God, dude! There's dead people in here, obviously. Freeze and look forward. What? I don't think the word "who" is applicable here. Oh my God! Is that a? Sh is that shadow moving? I think we just witnessed her death. We need to go around it. Don't touch the silhouettes. Concentrate. Okay, then. We're seeing some death echoes. That's cool. This is already weird as it is. Thank you, Khan. You're making this fucking weird as fuck. Mom, where are you? I just got killed. <laughs> I just got killed. <laughs> I just <laughs> Khan didn't even fucking care, dude. He just walked away. He's like, whatever. Please keep your leg on, my friend. Or else we might stay here forever. Please. And look forward. I don't think the word who is applicable here. Dude, rip her. We need 
to go around it. Don't touch the silhouettes. Concentrate. Oh, you get killed by bats or something. But whatever. And clearly, clearly that kid got killed by a fucking Asalus. And I shared the same fate. Mom? Where are you? How the fuck do I get to- oh, there's my diary. Alright. Since I died... I'm used to danger, used to the fragility of human life. I saw with my own eyes the monster. Fuck. I saw with my own eyes monsters that shouldn't exist. I walked the ruins of a city populated by the dead. But all of that was real. Conceivable. The other things going on around Khan, on the other hand, are way out of my reach. I feel uncomfortable around him, even scared. When he's around, everything all I know about the world, people, death, even myself starts to seem nonsensical. I have no point of reference, nobody to rely on Khan himself. Another random encounter, or perhaps not so random after all. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god. There's radiation over your con, I'm scared. Just charge my battery con, making sure we got enough light for us. Move aside, Artyom. That a ghost that's a fucking ghost train. What the fuck is this? This tunnel has to relive its past over and over again. And those who were unfortunate enough to walk here at such a moment usually join that past. Oh shit, dude. Fucking R.I.P. Let's go. Fucking roots growing down here. They're ripping through the tunnel. Strong roots, dude. Roots are really strong. Really weird. Note two. There are but a few scraps of memories, like faded pictures remaining of my life in the surface. And I don't remember the trains capable of running the tracks, filling the tunnels with their noise and lights, their windows full of smiling human faces. For me, the trains are just wrecks of an old world. Carriages we live in, their complex machinery is just dismembered to make our impotent trinkets. Our new world is built out of the debris of the old one. The ancestors are not quite dead. It's as if they are still around, invisible, always watching us, unable to find their peace. 